My name is Sarah Schinkman. I am the Advocacy and Outreach Manager for HFA. At the heart of everything HFA does is advocacy. So we focus on advocacy from a lot of different dimensions, including personal advocacy, political advocacy, group and peer advocacy. The idea is that we want people to feel comfortable, whether it's advocating with their doctors, their teachers, their coaches, with their legislators. We want people to know how to share their story, where to share their story, and that stories can be shared at any time. I've been really lucky most of my life um, to be on insurance and you know we have the best plan and you know it's through my father's insurance and I'm 24 um, moving into I'm not worried about 25 I'm worried about 26 um, but so far it's been taken care of for me. I mean we're very lucky right now with um, you know the health care and insurance so we get insurance through Ryan's work um, and with the Affordable Care Act, we have a lot of uh, benefits of, you know, being covered um, for everything that we need to manage uh, both babies. I think that um, the future is scary. Um, you know, I, I know he has now a pre-existing condition and he has, he's an expensive uh, person to maintain. So I think that getting involved in the community and being at these types of things and learning more about advocacy um, makes us feel a little bit more empowered in a time where we're nervous about the future. The, I guess the biggest thing that I wanted to come down and tell my story was um, because of the fear I currently have. Um, I have a fear of going back 10, 15 years and reliving things that, uh, that happened in my life before because of our healthcare insurance situation that's going on. My name is Katie Verb and I'm the Director of Policy and Government Relations for HFA. HFA is unique from a policy perspective, policy and government relations perspective, because we have such a close connection to our community. Uh, and we have such, and then the ability to really get people to participate in grassroots efforts. So the way that uh, DC is right now, it's really vital that people participate and people are calling their congressmen, and we have that really close connection with the community where we are able to drive some grassroots initiatives and drive patient involvement in the process. Making sure that in any kind of health reform that's passed, that there is a continued um, ban on insurance companies being allowed to deny people coverage because of a pre-existing condition. We also really need uh, to see maximum out-of-pocket costs for our community still to be capped. It's, uh, it's a very expensive, obviously, disorder, and our patients really feel a huge financial burden if there's no capping of costs. And then we also um, would like to see a continued ban on the annual and lifetime limits. Uh, prior to that, in the Affordable, um, prior to the Affordable Care Act, we had a lot of patients that had to switch jobs or were constantly running out their insurance policies, and it really affected. It's a quality of life issue. It really affects you. Shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to quit your job because you're afraid uh, that your insurance is going to max out. 